Next up, we're looking for the derivative of secant x tan x. So we're going to be using the product rule, and that just states that the derivative of ux times another function of x is going to be equal to um, So you take the derivative of 1 multiplied by the other function plus the derivative of the other function multiplied by the other one. And so if we're looking for, if we have our u of x is equal to secant x and our b of x is equal to tan x, we can go about finding the derivatives. So d over dx of 1 over cos x using the quotient rule. We'll find it's 0 by cos x minus 1 by negative sine x all over cos squared x. And we found this to be equal to secant x, 10x. And so if we're integrating this, you'd get the answer of um, secant x. But that's not what we're looking for today. Next up, we look for d over dx of... Um, sine x over cos x. And so that is going to become um, cos x by cos x minus negative sine x by sine x all over cos squared x. And so this just becomes 1 over cos squared x, and that is secant squared x. And so that means that u prime x, which is our secant x, is equal to secant x tan x. And b prime x is going to be equal to secant squared x. And so now we're just going to put that all into our formula here. So our u, the derivative of ux, so secant x tan x, multiplied by bx, which is tan x, plus the derivative of bx, so secant squared x, multiplied by ux, so secant x. And then if we just simplify that, that becomes secant x tan squared x plus secant cubed x. And then we can pull out one of those secant x's into tan squared x plus secant squared x. And that's it for this one.